Ladies and gentlemen, your next fight will be in the welterweight division, brought to you by Your Choice Labs. When the action begins, your referee in charge of this belt is Josh Ward. Interesting first, fighting out of the red corner. He brings in a record one win with no defeats. He weighed in 169 pounds. Fighting out of the striker and fight center in Kennesaw, Georgia. Across the cage tonight, fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight he makes his MMA debut. He weighed in 169 pounds. Fighting out of Cooks, Impact, and Powder Springs, Georgia. Antonio Q. Johnson. I'll tell you what, Antonio Johnson was showing out there before he got in the cage, crawling around. He's giving the high jumps. He's ready for action here. Yes, sir. Of course, Q's over here in the black and silver trunks. Morelli over there in the red and black trunks with the white tape up top. Head kick, first out. I believe we're going to look to see a... Uh, wow, that a, a, one lands to the body. I think we're going to look to see some wrestling coming from um, Drew over here. It looks like it, but it looks like you is the one who has the underhooks and the control. Nice knee from, from Drew. Now, if you notice, Q has the, uh, the shorts there, Coffee BJJ, that's Chip Coffee out of Atlanta. That's a, a black belt owner, Roberto Travis. This guy knows his groundwork. I've yes, rolled with coffee before. Uh, you know, <laughs> it, was a, it was an embarrassing moment for me. <laughs> um, Q's corner calling for him to separate and punch. Uh, but, you know, like we said, Morelli, he's a big welterweight. You know, he's a little bit taller, a little bit, a little bit thicker than, than Q is. And, you know, this is the perfect game plan for him is, to, you know, to use that strength and size advantage to, to wear your, you know, the smaller opponent down. Well, Morelli has that deep underhook clinch. He has his hands uh, clinched behind the back of, uh, of Q. And uh, it looks like he's working the grind to get this thing to the mat at all yeah. costs, and he gets it. Beautiful. Nice sweep. Yes, sir. The, th the thing that, I've, that I like that Q was doing that Morelli wasn't doing against the cage was he wasn't really using any head control. Yeah. He, you know, he was kind of had it down around the waist and stuff like that. If you'll control the head of the opponent, it'll, it'll work a lot better for you. And look at this, Morelli scooping that leg up, keeping, uh, keeping the pressure tight so he can deliver that ground and pound. If Johnson can't put his feet on the ground, he can't get up. 100%. Let's see if Morelli looks to pass here with that left knee. Bring that left knee across and try to pass maybe in the, the side control or, or even mount. You know, a lot of guys like to hang out in half guard, though. I know I me agree. personally, I would, I would rather be in half guard than anywhere. You know, you do a good job. You can pin your opponent's leg. Uh, there's a lot of submissions there. You can obviously do uh, some, some heavy ground and pound damage. Yeah, now he's looking to go to mount right here. Right, you know, all these spots tonight that we've seen have been very, very well matched, too. There's oh, here not we go. Really has the mount. He's a big dude. He's going to land some. He's got one hook in. Now he's got both hooks in. Oh, look at that. Beautiful Granby by but, Q, but, but, but he ends but, up under mount again. Did you see the way Morelli controlled that left arm in order to control the posture of, of, of just like he just done again in order to get back into mount? That was Morelli's very doing a good job moving with his opponent. You know, yes. Like, oh, going for a triangle. Here we go. Beautiful. Give it, don't like ever Johnson's give up position. It. Don't never give up position for submission, but we might it's have pretty it. pretty tight. It, it does look tight. He's got long legs, big arms. He's going to the arm, arm bar. bar. Going to the arm bar. Now he's in mount, a mounted triangle almost. Johnson still has his left hand in on that triangle. 20 seconds left, let's see if we can finish. He might switch to the arm bar right here of, uh, of Q's right arm. Oh, he's, no, he's still got still that triangle. He's he looks, that triangle uh, choke. No, he's, he's still. Uh, yes. Four oh, seconds, Morelli, three, Morelli cranky two, on that triangle. One. Ooh. Oh. Is he out? Oh, nope. Johnson Ooh. survives wow. it out. The question is, did Johnson Spent too much energy trying to defend himself, and did Morelli blow out his legs trying to complete that triangle? And I, I know for for firsthand, well, never in a fight, but in training, when you go for them triangles and you're expending as much energy, it looked like he was that kills your legs. I'm talking about lactic lactic acid in your legs is going to be killing you right now. And it was a beautiful attack on top. The only problem was Johnson had his arm in. So he couldn't get, you really couldn't completely crank in on that triangle and get it. And you're exactly right. He gave up position there initially. Uh, that's not a smart uh, no. a smart thing to do uh, when you're in an MMA fight. No, I mean, he had about a minute left in the fight, and, you know, he was in wound up and mount the most dominant position you can be in. Oh, here in. we go. Here we go. Here we're going to see a replay right here. Switching the arm bar. Going for the arm bar, but again, Johnson had his arm inside there. You can see his left hand. 
uh, the glove up against his head, defending from the triangle choke. Still a tie position. Drew Morelli, I give it uh, first round of Morelli, hands down. Uh, good attacks and, uh, yep. and a good push to see if he can continue that train. Yeah, most definitely. First round was definitely on Morelli there with the, with the submission attempts. Good, oh, here good we go. Oh, Morelli oh he's, he's notably in oh, trouble. Oh, boy. Big shot shoot. by shoot. Anthony Johnson. Antonio Johnson delivering oh. Oh. the submission. Wow. Oh. And Drew Morelli ends me. back up on top. We have a back. Beautiful stick to it. And that fight could have been over right there. That was a crucial mistake by Antonio Johnson. Anytime I'm ever, uh, you know, it's not something that, that I'm sure that they didn't work on or anything, but anytime I'm ever teaching or showing anybody something and you're landing punches and somebody shoots on you, you've got to get push on that head and push away. You've got to disengage from that, from, from, the, from the shot. And that's the one thing that, that Q didn't do right there, and it wound, wound up if on his back. If you're not moving away, it's very hard to oh, look essentially at this. stop a zombie oh. with their arm. Look at this. Oh. Drew Morelli's got that, that, neck, that, that arm tight. deep that under the neck tight. of Antonio oh, Q. Johnson. Well, let's go. He let it go to look for something else there. Oh, it's in there. The mouthpiece is about to come out there of Q. I want you to stop the whole time, Drew. He needs to try to flatten it. You know, uh, Morelli needs to try to flatten his opponent out and just I don't know. And again, Antonio Johnson, a deeper. debut fighter, so that could uh -oh. weigh in a uh -oh. lot of this. It looks it's deep, and it's over. over. Wow. Great fight. Wow. Very wow. exciting second round. The second round was more exciting than the first. I, wow. thought, I thought Antonio Johnson had it. I thought we were going to get a stoppage right there. I he did pulls too. into guard. Morelli takes advantage of it, ends up with a submission. Well, like I said, you know, he's in, you know, he, it's his debut. You know, you, I mean, we, after watching some of the debuts we've watched, you know, we we just wanted to, to, to express and see some things that we've not used to seeing out of these debuts. And, you know, he's just a young fighter. He'll bounce back from this right here. Very athletic, very well-rounded fighter. Um, I'm sure he'll bounce back for sure. Casey's going to go up there and uh, do the uh, post-fight interview for us right here. Um, Tyler, uh, that was an incredible – Man, I was real impressed. You know, I, I, I'm known for a grinder myself, someone who just kind of keeps coming forward. So naturally, I'm going to respect that. It, it, it says a lot when you can not only take damage but get hurt. You know, visibly hurt. Oh, and look keep at coming him! Yeah. Forward and win. Yeah. Yeah, he looks worse than his opponent, but he's about to get his hand raised. That's that's MMA guys. That that's the thing. Behind it. We'll go ahead and send it up to Cody for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Ward has got a start to this fight. One minute and 16 seconds into the second round. Your winner by submission via rear naked choke out of the red corner, Jerome Morelli. Like I said, man, that's, uh, you know, from, from the standpoint of Antonio Johnson, he just got to push away right there at the end and, and, and let – and just do some more punching. So, you know, he'll be back. Here we'll go to Casey Ox 9, talk to the winner. All right, I'm here with your winner, Drew Morelli. What a fight. You came out in the first round. You controlled. You went after that triangle from top position. He seemed to have his hand in there. You were unable to secure it. And then you come out in the second, and you get the sub. Talk about this fight. I don't know. It was tough. I got really tired, and I just – Instinct kicked in, I went to grappling, so that's, that's what happened. Well, you know, like I said, you were in pretty good control in that first round, but at the start of the second, you took a hard shot, and it looked like you could have been in trouble, but you were able to turn it around. Were you in trouble? Honestly, I don't remember it, so <laughs> I guess I was. All right, well, is there anyone out here you'd like to thank? Just everyone who came out for me, and just all my coaches and training partners. You don't walk in here by yourself, and I had a lot of people behind me. All right, well, let's give it up for your winner tonight, Drew Morelli.